Grabbing headphones, we got a quick workout. This is the shack. The wonderful and magical shack. Our parking lot's done. Literally, the entire parking lot is now complete. Man, damn. 236 parking spots. This is where everybody will enter Alpha Land. It's a good feeling seeing what was once just dirt, gravel, now a fully fledged parking lot. Small things in life, man. Not gonna lie to you guys, that was what we call a failed workout. Phone was distracting, started working. Now it's been like 45 minutes, going back home. Do not worry. Workout will happen later. We ran around, she ran around a lot. You guys see here, this is a perfect example of how the seat is too high for me here. Because if I'm gonna try to do this, I'm uncomfortable coming out of this position like this. I go lower, go this position here. Perfect. Two, wrists are straight. Three. Breathe here, then exhale as you push up. Breathe in, exhale. like this you can't really do much damage or much 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 building on your triceps on your arms but the truth is we're such a small muscle that they're getting hit in so many other exercises that as your secondary muscles it's almost like this direct work really really for me is like almost more of a crucial part to give them that direct focus you know what I mean I had a trainer for like one session back in like ninth grade and he told me if you touch the muscle trying to hit you close your eyes it almost like eliminates the sense or something like that and it's easier to like feel it more, so don't know if it's that true or not, but you give it a try. So. What's up guys, welcome to the video. Post-workout right now, we just finished up a push workout. It's 9.37 p.m., day 60 of the diet. I repeat, day 60, physique update. Here we go. Post workout, had a good amount of probably 70% like of macros in. Two legs. I don't know how to do that one, bro. <laughs> Yeah. But uh, yeah, this is me at 190 pounds in the morning. Definitely the biggest and leanest I've ever been, so I'm happy about that. But it's time to dig deep, or time to dig, and then, then we'll <laughs> dig deep. <laughs> uh, I wanna be honest with myself. <laughs> We're officially going into phase two. I'm gonna call this phase two of the diet, okay? First 10 pounds, that was easy. Phase two, we have the next 10 pounds. This is gonna be a challenge. Then we have phase three, so stay tuned. We're about to head home, grab some dinner. See you there. For dinner. We have some lemon cakes getting made. Or were they lemon cakes or what are they? Lemon. Lemon. <laughs> the favorite. I can eat that. What we are going to eat are these vegetables. Okay. 
We have green beans, we have carrots. Put some more green beans. And for protein sources, we've got some, we should have like options, it's so nice. We have chicken, or, or we could have beef, or we could have, what I'm, I'm gonna have the meatballs. What kind of meat is used, Mom? It's 96.4. Uh, Ooh, 96.4? 96.4, yeah. Oof, no problem, so I'm gonna have some of these. Get some sauce in there for protein, like that. I feel like we're, we're so lucky to have all these just like options, you know? Is there white rice, huh? There's white rice. There's white rice. Just like that. Not too much rice, just like that much. Yeah, that is the one. We'll see y'all. Mañana. That means tomorrow. <laughs> Part of the summer shredding that you don't normally see. Yeah. Okay. See, I like to get down on all fours and kind of spread my back. <laughs> Expanding my, my surface area. Oh wait, I actually keep doing that, that's nice. Yep. It's a dog. Okay, stop me. Yeah. Hey. Heidi, what's it like dating Christian Guzman? <laughs> it's a lot of... Eventful. Uh, it's, it's very eventful. Never... Never, never a dull, dull day. Never a dull moment. You're probably more high maintenance than me, right? Yeah, right. What? You're very high maintenance. In a cute way. I am pretty high maintenance. When I want it, I want it, yeah. Max has ever wanted was left. That's all. Oh my god. Thank you, bro. Yeah. Were you thirsty? Phase two. Of what? Diet starts today. Chugging a gallon of water. That's part of it. Honestly, I'm a gallon and a half. What? Oh, the goat! That's good! last photo shoot before the July 24th summer refresh launch. Uh, 261 new products, a ton of stuff to shoot, and Justin and Kirby are actually sick with COVID. We couldn't cancel because everyone's been booked and like flew in and stuff, so it's gonna be a big crew. Nabil and I, we're gonna work the magic. It's like the good old days, you know? We're yeah. gonna make this launch happen. I wanna get ready, because uh, I will be shooting as well, so I gotta try to look my best. I wanna show you guys like this new routine I've kind of been doing. It, incorporates two products, okay? They're both from Bluemon. This is the new Ascend product. This is essentially the do it while you're blow drying and kind of like style it, volumize it, get it all in shape, and then use this to hold it in. Here's routine. Number one, get the Ascend product. What's nice about this is they added with this like version of this a heat resistant chemical i guess ingredient so it doesn't burn your hair when you're blow drying it's great because this will give your hair a longer lifespan uh if you have like thinner hair like i do more fine hair then this is good to do so you put that in about that much so you start blow drying so I know I don't show you guys how I do my hair every day, but to be honest, like this looks so much more like, like full already from using this. High hold, low shine. Again, high hold, low shine. Johnny Bravo, you know? A little bit of that, that's too much, like that much. Hey. Pro tip. Uh, I saw Anita do this. She always like puts a little bit on the on the sides, you know? Bam, we're ready to go. Time to go shoot for athlete. Real quick, if you guys want to get you any 
Blue Mon products. They have a bunch of different ones. They have like, you know, a matte one. They have a more shiny one. That's your look, the slick look. All these different colors of products here. Uh, the Ascend is brand new. It's got the heat repellent thing that keeps your hair healthy for longer. It's great. And the best part, you can use code Guzman, save 10% off your entire order. Link is the first link in the description box. Go check it out. Get you some hair products. Stay on top of your game. You feel good, look good, perform good, conquer life. I'm conquering life right now, bro. Yeah, yeah. The bathroom, best friends in the hot tub. Been, hot tub. Don't know what's happening there. If someone had a BTS of this, it'd be. Don't, like, <laughs> don't, let me jump to it. Me. What do you do for a living? <laughs> so what do you do for a living? Uh, I am in bathroom. We sneak into my parents' bathroom because bathroom, that's the best lighting. We're making life, bro. We're making it happen. Yeah. Living the dream. We are honestly living. This is the dream. Yeah. Who knew? This is a career right here. <laughs> <laughs> you can apply at uh, alveathletics.com slash careers. Yeah. Hi everybody's here yet. Sky's not here yet. How are you? I'm great. Sky, How are you? I'm I'm gonna film a clip, I'm like, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna say. We're eating at Japanero's. Saved a lot of macros today for this. Introduce yourself to the viewers. Hi, I'm Morgan. Hi, I'm Morgan. I'm Nisa. Video, yeah. Three, two, one. Oh my girl, oh my girl. It's like 12, 15 p.m. ready to crash. Okay, so earlier in the video we talked about how phase two of the diet is officially commencing. Now, what I'm about to show you is a commitment to phase two. It's on Amazon. Uh, this is the Nicewell brand, model number MQD-C018. We've done phase one, we've cleaned up our food choices, we've eaten better, we've gotten leaner, and we made a lot of progress. But now it's time to take the guesswork out, take the eyeballing out, and it's time to get more accurate, get more serious. And that's how we're gonna see and truly track our progress is if we know what we're putting into our bodies, we know the macros are protein, fat, carbs, and fiber. We control more situations instead of kind of guessworking with them. Then we're able to adjust those inputs and the numbers and be able to actually directly see results more clearly. So I'm about to make myself a bowl of oatmeal. I'm not gonna show you the oatmeal because I feel like I always show you the oatmeal, but commitment from me to you. Oh yeah. I believe I've actually had this exact one before, but like years ago. Nice and fresh. So I'll show you guys how exactly if you don't know how to use a food scale, how to track your food, track your macros. I'm gonna be making a video like real soon and I'll incorporate that in. We'll do like a screen share, we'll get the app together, we'll put all our information in, we'll start doing all that together. And I'll show you some cool, like I hate using recipes, but some cool ways to hack your, your food and make you feel like you're, just enjoy your food more, you know? We're back. What's up guys? Got the whiteboard which we're not gonna be using because this is 2021. We're not in 2018. We have some new fancy stuff for you guys here. But for the topic of this video, we're gonna be talking about two things. The first being phase one. This is what we just completed. So we did 60 days of dieting so far and we've lost about 10, 11 pounds. Feeling like leaner, striations are starting to come in. The abs are like, like here now, you can tell like the body fat's kind of trimming down. That was a, success, a successful completion of phase one. So what is phase one? That was simply for the last 60 days, cleaning up our food sources, uh, our meals using common sense, right? I know I was eating like shit, I know I was ordering Uber Eats for two meals a day. So kind of cutting that out, making food, going out and getting groceries, eating more vegetables. Number two, I committed to drinking a gallon of water per day. Number three, I dabbled with about one to two cardio sessions per week. Those cardio sessions were, some weeks I did 
maybe one, some maybe two. It might have been a few weeks where I was sick, I didn't do any. Kind of softly implementing a little bit of low intensity steady state cardio. And lastly, just estimating and eyeballing my meals, my macros. Um, just, I've been doing this enough years where I feel like I can look at a plate, kind of grab my serving of peanut butter and generally know like how much of a serving I'd be consuming. Um, but phase one is great and that's a great start for a lot of us, myself included, but I've hit a wall. I'm stuck. I've been stuck at like 189, 190 for weeks now. And I know that in order to take my body to the next level, which is what I want to do, we have to engage phase two. The difference of phase one and phase two. Number one, we're going to be using our food scale. If you don't have a food scale, I'm gonna pop one on the screen right now. 20, 15, 20 bucks on Amazon. Link is in the description. Commit to getting a food scale. I know the thought of like tracking your food, weighing your food, just sounds like, ugh, I don't wanna do it. It sounds difficult, it sounds annoying, but trust me guys, if you've never done it before, give it a try. And the sole purpose, I want you guys to go through the learning phase of how to do it, so that way you don't have to do it. You can do the eyeball, you can, but first, before you get to that point where you can control your body, what you're putting in and control how you're looking, you have to go through the phase of learning, actually tracking things. It makes you realize, oh damn, that's, that's a serving of peanut butter? Fuck. The next thing that phase two is gonna demand is a daily weigh-in. I want you guys to weigh in first thing in the morning, every single morning, using the same scale and try to be under the same circumstances. So all that means is if you're eating dinner and finishing your macros at 8 p.m., and you like doing that, then try to do that consistently. Um, be conscious of not, maybe not chugging a ton, a ton, a ton of water right before bed. Be consistent with whatever you're doing so that way your morning weighing can be consistent. Personally, I like finishing off about 80% of my macros by like 7, 8 p.m. And then the last 20%, I like to kind of have a little snack before going to bed. Something sweet, something salty, whatever feels natural, do that, get your weighing, and we're gonna track it down in a journal, on your phone, in your notes app, in my fitness pal, whatever you wanna do. I'll show you guys like what I choose to do in the next video and we'll do that together. But next thing we're gonna do, phase two. No more kind of dabbling with one to two cardio sessions a week. We're gonna be going for, if you're watching this video and doing this with me, anywhere between 900, I want you to pick, between 900 to 1200 calories burned. Now, for me, that's gonna look like three to four low intensity cardio sessions a week. If I wanna do it in three sessions, that's gonna consist of three sessions of 400 calories burned. If I wanna do it in four, it'll be four sessions of 300 calories burned, etc. So. Pick what you wanna do there. The reason I'm doing calories burned, one, I think it's, I usually specify low intensity or high intensity, and we're gonna do this many sessions, this much time, but instead of going by time, I wanna go by calories burned to give you a little more flexibility with it, and I'm gonna kinda try it out. So it's one of those things where I feel it's kinda cool if, yeah. So if you wanna do 45 minutes, two sessions, and you can hit that 900, 1200, whatever you set your goal to be, then do it. Um, don't get carried away with it. Don't think that, oh, now that I'm burning these many calories, I can, don't overthink it. I can, now I can eat more food because I burned that many. That's not how it works. Pick a number between 900 and 1200. Set that as your weekly. In the seven day period, I'm going to do this many calories burned. I can do them whatever days I choose, whenever I choose, as long as it's not affecting my workout performance, my training performance. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to increase our water intake from one gallon to one and a half gallons. Easy. Next, setting our macros and actually this comes along with getting our food scale and tracking our food. So to find your macros, recap. The first one you have to find is protein. To find protein, you take your body weight, 190 times anywhere between 0 0.8 to 1.1. 0 0.8 is higher body fat, less active. 1.1 is like getting ready for competition, been dieting for a long time. I'm gonna do one gram. That gives you 190 grams. The next one we have to find is our fat. To find our fat, we take our body weight again, times anywhere between 0 0.3 and 0 0.4. 0 0.3 being I like more carbs, 0 0.4 being I like more fat. For me, I want more carbs in my diet. So I take 190 times 0 0.3. That gives me 57 grams. Now, the third and final macro that we have to find out is our carb. So now that we already have our protein and our fat, we just have to do a little bit of multiplication, a little bit of subtraction to find what our carbs need to be and our carbs are gonna be dictated by our maintenance calories. Maintenance calories, body weight times 14 to 16. Pick a number. 14 is less active, 16 is very active. I'm picking 15, right in the middle. So 190, my body weight times 15 is 2850. That is my maintenance calories. I'm gonna subtract about 500 calories a day because we need to be in a caloric deficit to lose weight, to lose body fat. So that gives me 2350. Now. If I take my protein that I assigned myself, 190, 
Multiply it times four, because there's four calories per one gram of protein. So 190 times four is gonna give me a number, and then I take my fat, which is 57. There's nine calories per one gram of fat. 57 times nine, that's gonna give me a number. I take that total and I subtract away from 2350 minus 1,200, what was that number, Nabil? 73, 1,077. We're gonna say 1,100 calories. That amount of calories is what I have left after subtracting my protein and my fat. So I get to fill that up with carbs. 1,100 divided by four, because we have four calories per gram of carb, gives us 275 grams of carbs. So my macros are gonna be 190, 57, and 275. Those are my macros. Use the formulas that we've shown you to calculate yours. And you know what, I'm gonna put a comment down below and I'm gonna pin the comment with these formulas so you guys can just go in the comment section, thumbs it up, use that formula to find your macros and literally to adjust our macros, we're gonna either be increasing cardio for the next, for phase two, increasing our cardio or manipulating it or we're gonna be including refeeds maybe once every seven to 14 days. I'll talk about those in a future video, or we're gonna be decreasing our carb. We're gonna keep our protein and our fat where they are. That is how we're going to change and see results and push results. Be sure we're losing that one to one and a half, maybe two pounds a week to take us to our end goal of phase two, which is to be in the low 180s. That is phase one versus phase two. It's time to get serious. I hope y'all are ready. I'm fucking ready. Let's go. Oh, go like and subscribe if you're still watching. Appreciate y'all. Oh, damn. That's a workout, bro. That's like a 30 minute video two years ago, three years ago, wrapped in like four minutes.